Check in with Chris Suchan for a closer look at exactly how this rain is impacting the area. Chris, this has been a brutal morning so far. Well, it has. And the other thing, too, about these uh, thunderstorms, a lot of lightning through the night. They've been very loud. So you have the flooding, the flash flooding, the frequent lightning, which I'm sure has contributed to the, uh, the power out situation we have in our area. Uh, which the last count, I believe, was about 7,000. But tonight's storms, the big headline with them, unlike last weekend where it was damaging wind, it's the flash flooding. And it has been a prolific amount of rain across the metro. You see how it's been developing and then training across the same area. Now, these are little scattered downpours that just will exacerbate the situation in terms of what we've seen uh, through the night. The corridor of the heaviest of that rain, you see how it is trying to shift out of the metro, that real heavy, steady rain where it covers about two, three counties. Now working right along the state line through Cass County, Henry, Johnson County, Bates now getting into this stretch here. Some very heavy rain, so you, you can expect some flash flooding in this uh, corridor from this uh, rainfall. Here's a look at radar estimates, which really lines up with uh, some of the some of the uh, the totals I have seen from uh, observation sites into the area. A little over three, just under four inches actually in the north side of Kansas City, four and a half Johnson, western Jackson County approaching five inches. Look at this out in the Lafayette, eastern Jackson County, just under eight inches of rainfall here so far. And it continues to rain in some of these areas. So again, we're starting off the day with this large flash flood warning, which will be in effect for several hours this morning. We'll talk about when we can finally put away the umbrella. Wait till you wait till you see what's coming into that weekend. Joe and Alexis in just a few minutes.